Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So, um, what is today's agenda? We're going to run up to Columbia County. Early in the morning, beautiful skies. It's severe uh, VFR today. And a uh, couple questions. I'm going to show how easy it is to... We're going to stay right here, get out of the sun. Uh, we're going to stay here for a second. Get the iPad to cooperate. There we go. Um, how to send your... Um, flight plan to the IFD 540. It's very from four flight. It's very easy. But first of all, it's out of these screens here. Oh, right, we'll get some heat going on a little bit here. So on your um, iPad, go to settings and see if it's still in here or not. And I have the transponder hooked up. So I would go to once it comes in here. Go to your uh, Wi-Fi settings and you'll see LIO underscore Wi-Fi, that's the Avidyne. So we'll hit that. Now we're, we're connected to the Avidyne, uh, not the transponder right now, uh, but we're connected to the Avidyne. And all you do is you basically you go to foreplay here. I hope you guys can see it's a little difficult. But we're going to go to KMGJ and we're going to go to 1 Bravo 1. 1 B 1. Okay, there's a flight plan that shows everything. Okay, there's your magenta lines. We're going direct. There's no reason to go uh, do all these different routes. So but we'll go to 3500. We'll put that in there. So there's our flight plan. All you got to do is you got this little plane here with little symbols to the left to the right of it. Um, all you do is you hit that and it's going to say load from the panel, which means that you can put a, a flight plan in here if you had a you know, co-pilot do whatever and you want to put it to the iPad or the foreflight, all you do is load from panel. So this will come here uh, to the uh, foreflight app. You want to send it to the panel. So send to panel, and send the flight information to the panel. Okay, it's done. All you're going to do is you go to your um, FMS button here. You're going to go over to route. And right there is our route. Uh, that was our route a couple of days back, but MGJ to 1 Bravo 1. All you gotta do, it's already highlighted, just hit activate route, and there everything comes alive. So the sky views, here's a magenta line on the sky view, your um, a magenta line on the HSI, um, on the map, and if you go to map on the IFD, uh, there is your direct line to 1 Bravo 1. So it's pretty easy. So now if you made changes on here, okay, uh, let's say you wanna go, you know, a pop up IFR or whatever, uh, go to a fix, whatever you want to do. You can put it in the, you know, go under procedures and put whatever you want to put in here. And then you could go back to that button and then submit it to the um, iPad from the panel. So that's pretty cool there. That's how you do that. Pretty easy. Uh, it's really, really easy to do. Uh, and uh, just wait for the Wi-Fi. It took a couple minutes to load up there. But um, there you go. And then we can go back to the transponder under settings. And then you'll have the weather and all that fun stuff and traffic on our iPad in the air. We don't need that. We'll put that over here. And we're going to Columbia County, 1 Bravo 1. Flight, the, the you know. Uh, the out is in there. And it's going direct, so it's pretty easy. I mean, you know, if I was going on a, on a far trip somewhere, um, when I'm at home, looking at the weather, looking at the traffic. Oh, not look at the traffic. You can actually can look at traffic on at home with the Wi-Fi on. Uh, that's pretty cut. That's pretty cool. Um, but you could do your whole flight plan at home, uh, and then when you get to the airplane, I'll make sure there's no, you know, obviously check the next day if there's no uh, um, FRs and whatnot. Make sure. But that night you get to do all the information before you come to the airport in the morning. It all stored in your iPad on the Forefly app that you have or whatever you use. Um, and you just set it to the panel and boom, right, it's all right there for you. And if you and if it is an IFR flight plan, you put it in, send it. You know, ATC says go direct to a, a fix, you know, that's cut, you know, cut your course off so it saves you some time. What you do is you go to the flight plan in IFD here and just go to direct to that point and you're good. So it's pretty easy. Okay, we're taxiing. Listen to the weather. It probably looks like it's calm. Let's see what it says. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. 
one one two one Zulu. Wind two three zero at zero three. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus. All right, we'll use two two. Um, that, the wind socks are not even moving, but we'll use two two. And then we'll get flight following in the air. Let's taxi on down to two two here in Orange County. It used to be uh, two one and three. Uh, they made it longer and uh, they switched it up a little bit to uh, two two and four. Uh, let's see here. Up to the run up area, we're gonna go here. We're gonna get some. Well, just a nice nice morning early flight at seven twenty five in the morning. This beautiful day. And uh, we're gonna just gonna go up there and have some fun. It's just across country, too. It's 52.4 miles uh, from Orange County. One Bravo One. So we'll put that in the book for across 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 country. Okay, handy dandy checklist time. It's over here, and we're going to do the run up, do all that fun stuff. I already walked around, sub the tanks, no water in the tanks. So I did have it out in the rain the other day uh, to do something in the hangar. Uh, but I used a rainwater to kind of wash the plane up a little bit. It looks look nice. And I'll get right back to you folks. Do the checklist time. Okay, the checklist is complete. So now we're all in knots here. So I got I always check, make sure that we're on the right rotation speed. It used to be 70 miles per hour, 60 knots. Um, and then the VY is 87. It's 100. So I have the 100 set over here just as a reminder. And then uh, we're going to cruise up. Okay, checklist complete. We will put that away. And listen to the weather for the altimeter. One, one, two, four, Zulu. Wind, two, three, zero, at zero, three. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, minus zero, three, Celsius. Dew point, minus zero, four, Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, three, eight. Remarks. Okay, the three, zero, Three zero three eight. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated. Hey, I'm gonna put over standby. One one two. Three zero three eight. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. I said wind. Did you hear that, folks? I said just just said wind, wind's calm. Two <laughs> point. I couldn't use four. Go straight out. Celsius. That's all right. Altimeter three zero three. So we're gonna do one one thirty two seven five thirty two seven five. That's New York approach. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. One one two five Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus zero three Celsius. Dew point minus zero four Celsius. Altimeter three zero three eight. Remarks. Density altitude. Okay, so we're going to use two two. Let's get out of here. We got flaps fifteen. We got landing lights on. Um, anti collision light is on. Strobes are on. A fuel pump coming on very shortly. We're good. We're trimmed. Extra full rich. Prop is full forward. And car P is in. The cabin heat is out. This is a little chilly. Uh, 28 degrees outside. Oh, it's going to be a nice, smooth morning, hopefully. We're going to go up to 3,500. And Orange County traffic, anybody? Short base at final 2 2. Everything's clear to Johnson Bar here. We're good to go. Orange County traffic, Mooney, 8, 7 November, taking a 2 2 for departure. Orange County. All right. For further services, click your mic 3, time for an advisory 4, time for radio check. Okay, line up here. Full pump's coming on. We are trimmed, nothing's in the way of the Johnson bar. We're all in the green for the Orange County Automated Advisory. Winds come. Visibility better than 10 miles. Temperature 27.24. Altimeter 3036. For runway 94 right. traffic.
Winds are calm, but it, w it was favoring a 2 2. All right, full power is in. Airspeed alive. We're at 50 knots. So looking for 60. And 60, rotate. Uh, trip down a little bit here. And the gear coming up. The gear's up a lot. Look out for birds. Pull the power back now, just to keep the neighbors a little happy. Even though they moved by the airport, we will make them happy. Pull the prop back and the power back a little bit, 25, 25. In Orange County traffic, Moody is right crosswind for Orange. Okay, flaps can now come up. Perfect, flaps are up, gear is indicated up. We got up on the panel, up on the dynon here, and the car peaks 52 degrees. Nice turnout. Orange County traffic. Everybody's turning right down with now for uh, four. Correction, uh, 2 2, Orange County. We'll be the partner pattern uh, to the uh, north. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, our course heading is 040. We'll put that in. We'll get situated here and we'll go, uh, we'll hit direct, enter, enter, and we're going to 3500. We'll get flight following over at uh, New York here. The nose down a little bit. A fuel pump can come off. Lang light can come off. Over to New York, 3275. We'll give it a couple seconds before we talk over anybody. And New York, good morning. Uh, Booty, 688. 7 November request. What was the uh, call sign 688? 7 November, sir. Just departed Orange County, climbing through 2800 for 3500. Requesting flight following 21 Bravo 1. And what altitude are you going to? Uh, 3500 today, sir. November 8-7, November, squawk 3311 and ident. 3311, here comes a flash for 8-7, November. This is Jet 775 near departure, direct merit climb, maintain 17,000. Okay, we identified 3311, we're going to 3,500, we'll level off. 7 November, you're at a contact, 7 miles northwest of Stewart, 3,400, altimeter 3039. 39 for 8, 7 November, thank you. Okay, we're set with New York, and what they're going to do is give us to Albany. Let's trim down. We'll pull the power back, we're cruising along here, we've got a little bit of a tailwind. Got the highway in the sky, is alive. The mixture. Number two, Sierra Pop, contact Boston one three four point three. Three four point three, two Sierra Pop. Have a good day. Okay, we're all in the green, we are all set, the gear is up, flaps are up, we are clean. 
Uh, let's put this display full, look at the map here, everything's looking good, I don't see any traffic, we got flight following out of New York, thank you guys for that. Always give ATC a lot of props, dealing with everything that's going on. We're looking good, now uh, we're going to anticipate going to obviously Albany, uh, switch over, so I kind of forgot what that is, what frequency is, which I should know by now, but... It is what it is. So I'm going to put in one Bravo 1 anyway. Um, I think it's in here under recent one Bravo 1. It is in the comms. So uh, we'll anticipate 32.825. We'll put it in the standby. What doesn't hurt if they change, they change it. Okay, so, and then... Uh, On set approach, November 712 Sierra Papa, 5500. AWAS is 33.5325. 3, 3, 3, um, so we'll, so what we'll do is we'll put that in the SL30 on the standby. And all we got to do is we highlighted it here, as you can see. And we're going to tune the comm and now flip it right here in the standby on the uh, SL30, which is right here. And then all you got to do is you can just flip it and you're done. Uh, Skyview, Dynon did a good job syncing that, which is perfect. We're cruising along here pretty good. Beautiful day out here. Got the mountains off to our left. Exhale 341, near departure, direct Carmel, VOR, direct Recce. Exhale 341, climb, maintain 17,000. Oh, ground speed here, 4046 knots. We're at 73% power. And Richard Peak, uh, burning about 10 gallons an hour, 10.5. I can lean it a lot more if I wanted to. But I just changed the oil, so we we'll, uh, won't make it too hot. 308 near departure fighting 360. Too quickly? I know it sounds weird. Like, what are you talking about? You could do that. I know. Look, shit, 341, contact Boston. <laughs> it's okay. it's one of those things, you know? Three. So, ATC is not too busy this morning on a Tuesday morning early. I can see New York City. Clear day. A little bit of haze here and there. Nothing crazy. Let's get back down a little bit to 3,500. So, what I did was... I did keep the backup uh, on miles per hour. Kind of like a cross-reference. I've been flying miles per hour for 12, 13 years. Uh, so, I'm so used to miles per hour. That, uh, it's just my little backup of a, of a checking myself with my knots. Uh, so, it's, it's all right. So as you can see in the Skyview HDX, I got a 10 inch here and a 10 inch on the uh, co-pilot side. So basically our true airspeed is 142, we were 137, the ground speed is 151 knots. Uh, we got 11, 11 gallons in the right tank, 17 in the left, um, 16 in the left now, and we're 23.2 over 24.7, and we're burning about 10 gallons, 10.8, 10.7 gallons an hour. I can bring it way back if I wanted to. Get under uh, nine probably, and cylinder temperatures. We got three one three, uh, three seventeen, three two ninety six. That's that's pretty good, and three twenty one. Wait, direct yeah. And I got the uh, GTS about fifteen twenty nine, fourteen twenty, thirteen sixteen, and then uh, thirteen oh two. I could probably again lean it out a little more if I wanted to. That one is good. That worst one is always the hottest one, and that's what I go by off of uh, Lena Peak um, and or Richard Peak, and or I can go to the menu and go to Engine Tools, and I can do lean right here and do it that way. So I do get a couple of questions on can you swap screens? So for example. Um, if I was with a co-pilot on a long trip and I want to give him this screen, because how I have it configured right now is 
Man, it's beautiful out here. I can't believe it. All I have it configured right now, when I, go, when I do full screen, this screen is my PFD. This is everything right here that I need. I like it full screen. Okay, if I want to go to display... November, contact Albany approach 132.82. 32.82, 7 November, good day, sir. Okay, I was right, 32.82. Listen for a few seconds. Oh, Benny Approach, Dakota 69019, Mike, just off of Schenectady through 2000 for 6.5. 69019, Mike, Albany departure, I attempt Albany alternative 3036. 36. Albany, good morning, sir. Uh, Mooney is with you. 3,500. 26887 November, Albany approach. Good morning, Albany Alpha 3036. 3687 November, thank you. Go to 19er Mike, radar contact, two miles northwest of the Connecticut Airport, Albany Alpha 3036. Uh, so, 2,700. You go to, I go to maps here, I have half screen, or, you know, I can take out the. My waypoints here and my engine monitoring, which is the cylinder temperatures, uh, battery voltage and whatnot, I can make it bigger if I wanted to. This is my IFR map below here. Um, so I, that's how I have it configured. My full screen is is this. Okay. On the pilot co-pilot side, my full screen is all the maps. So it's basically like having this iPad right here. Okay. Like I used to have. Well, I was on the yoke last time. Um, getting over to Hudson River shortly here. Nice, again, a beautiful morning. Um, and then if I go to display and I go to PDF, that's the half and half. So, half and half. So now everybody's saying, well, can you flip that? Can I make this to full screen and make this this screen? Absolutely. So, all I have to do, if I wanted to take a nap while the co-pilot is flying, he wants to have the full screen. I do, I go to display here, okay, and hit swap. You're going to swap screens. And there I have it. Uh, VFR at or below 5,000. So now, PFD is on the co-pilot side, full screen. And now I have it on the co-pilot screen on this side, so if I go to display and full, I got maps on my side. I have everything on that side, PFD. So yes, you can. So it's, it's again, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, uh, it's a great system. I have no complaints over to Skyview HDX at all. It's just very friendly, user-friendly. Update it yourself, it's, it's very user-friendly. I got nothing bad about to say about it whatsoever. Uh, yeah, so you can flip it. Now swap it back, go to display, you want to swap the screens back, and there you have it. We're back to square one. So there you have it, you can do it. And it's pretty easy. Now let's see if we can get the weather over at uh, Columbia. Uh, not yet. Number 7120, Papa, navigate left. Not yet. We are 23 nautical miles out, 9 minutes. Uh, we're going to 1 Bravo 1, 23.5, 9 minutes. Um, and that's what gives you your local time there. We'll start descending about uh, 15 miles out or so. Hoping to go straight in and uh, switch tanks. Uh, we're going to switch tanks. So, oh, actually, look what I got. I'm going to try it out. So one of my uh, followers said, hey, always bending over, like we all do, uh, changing your tanks on these planes, taking your seatbelt off uh, to do it, or your shoulder harness off. So try this. So I'm going to try it. Let's see how easy it is. All right. That was pretty easy. That's just dine on screens. That's how you sync your your flight plan to uh, IFD 540, and that's how you swap screens between co-pilot and pilot side if you uh, do it that way. Mike, the traffic's now one o'clock and four miles southeast down Cherokee 5500. November now traffic uh, 11 o'clock and three miles westbound 5000 Dakota. Looking at it in November.
actually could see the airport very so slightly right now. I, I know what to look for in the Hudson River here, and I know where to go with cross-reference over to the, where the airport is. And Albany, uh, Mooney, 87 November, requesting you send to my destination, sir. 87 November, via for absolute your discretion. My discretion for 87 November, thank you. Okay, so let's go down to 25. Okay, pull the power back. A little bit out of time. Now, what the Moonies is, I like to start my, depending now, of course, depending what altitude you're at. So if I was at 8,500, I'll start my descent 30 miles out because you, you got to do it because it's just, it comes down so fast and you don't want to overspeed. You don't want to, especially if it's turbulent air, you don't want to overspeed. Um, so you start pulling the power back a little at a time and because uh, the Moonies are very sleek airplanes. So I'm 15 miles out. I'm going to start my descent now. I'm not that high. I'll hit the 2,500 and go to information over here. And 1,200 is their traffic pattern altitude at 1 Bravo 1. The weather now. And the weather is down. Oh, put the lane light on. A fuel pump not yet. Got the right frequency in. I'm pretty positive. The 33525. Information. Uh, comms. Uh, you, um, AWOS. 33525. Yeah. Okay. Well. Times they don't work. Let's say we get a little closer maybe. Alright. Looking good right now. 13 miles out. We'll power back a little bit more. Airport's in sight. Albany 8, 7 November. We can cancel with you, sir. November 8, 7 November. Roger, great air service is terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change approved. Have a good day. Squawk VFR frequency change approved. Good day, sir. Thanks for help. Okay, so we'll do the VFR. Done. Okay, so airport's in sight. I'm just trying to figure out what runway to use. Uh, nice we could use three, but if we took off, it was Winter Calm in Orange County. We took off. Uh, when we first did our weather, um, it was favoring 2-2. Uh, so I'd like to get the weather. Departure path 142, climb through Columbia County traffic, good morning. Mooney, 8th of November is 10 miles out to the southwest to be inbound to landing. Columbia County. Uh, let's see if we get the weather now. Automated weather there observation. We one, one, five, one, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, right, perfect, one, calm. zero, clear, below, one, two. I'll go to procedure. Temperature, minus two. Celsius, two point, minus four, altimeter, three, zero, three, nine minutes. Go straight in for three. Perfect. If no one's in the pattern, we'll go straight in. I, my, my, Columbia County. I roll a thumb with all this, you know, entering the pattern, doing all this stuff, and I, people like to be coming straight in, whatever. You know, I like to make sure no one's in the traffic pattern, um, unless, unless you're practicing or shooting an approach and all that fun stuff, obviously. But I like I like to, um, you know, do the pattern if there's people in the pattern. Uh, you know, 35 or whatever I have to do to get into the pattern. Um, if no one's flying in the pattern, no one's coming in, you know, or they're on their uh, traffic pattern doing a 45 or midfield left downwind, whatever they're at, um, I, I, I go into the pattern. If there's nobody doing anything, I go straight in. Uh, so that's what I typically do. At 12,000 feet, or 12,000, yeah, 12,000 feet is traffic pattern altitude here at Columbia County. Oh, it's 1,200. 1,200 feet. And we're looking good. Airport 
Ships in sight. Let's get a little more slow here. In my descent in seven seconds to the runway, to the sky view, or uh, the IFD. IFD is telling what to do. And Columbia County traffic. The Mooney's on a five mile final for runway three, Columbia County. So perfect. A nice, perfect slowdown. Runway is in sight. Landing light is on. We got the fuel pump coming on now. We are going to. Here is coming down. Gas undercarriage. It's locked. Mixture is full rich. Nice and easy. No rushing around here. And prop can come in full forward. Okay, so we're looking good. I got two whites over reds already. And let's turn in. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, and watch our speed, and we'll throw in two flaps, and trim up. You're looking perfect. Got the runway coming in at the synthetic vision on the sky view here. And we'll slow down a little bit more, we're looking... Pretty good. Approaching altitude. We're approaching traffic pattern altitude. Then we'll go down to uh, 500 is your decision altitude here. Okay. So there we'll go to f down to 500 now. Okay, looking good. One more swipe of trim and one more bump of flaps. for 70 knots over the fence here. A little more trim. And we'll go ahead and put full flaps in now. We're flaps, full flaps are in, looking good. Mooney 8th of November is now on a short final for three. It'll be a full stop. Columbia we'll County. Good morning. We're looking good. We're at 70 knots. Looking good. 500. Looking good. 500 feet above the ground. Nice, nice, smooth morning. We got the speeds are perfect. Okay, we have the gases on, undercarriage, mixture prop, full flaps, and watch our speed, seat belts are on. We're approaching, approaching our, minimums. Approaching minimums. 200 feet to go. We're a little high. We're going to correct for that. Pull the power back. And one more notch of, of a trim here. And pull the power back. We're at nice speed. Minimums. Okay, minimums. Looking good. Runways in sight. We can pull the power back a little bit more. We're looking for a so bird off to our wing. Okay, 65 knots. Looking good. Perfect speeds coming in. Let's get down to 60 knots. We're looking good there. And the air runways in sight. Or we can make our way, we'll pull the power back to idle. And let's bring her right in. Her is down, one more check of the gear, it's down. And let her, oh. Perfect, all right, we'll take that one. And we'll go, no, we'll use the brakes, we'll go all the way down there until the other turn off. That's it, Columbia County, runway three. Nice, easy flight. Uneventful, the uh, fuel pump can come off. And we'll pull the mixture out a little bit. And that's basically it. We are at Columbia County, and we're gonna get some fuel, uh, get some coffee, then head back to Orange County, because I'm flying with uh, my friend Brian in his Comanche 250. Don't know where we're going yet, but we'll figure it out. 
All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for flying along. Uh, reminder, it, uh, the flying event at Orange County Airport uh, that I'm putting on is June 12th. About 120 planes-ish registered. Um, it should be a good time. Some vendors. I got some things going on um, that I'm still working on. The farthest person who flies in to the event gets a free case of oil for aviation oil outlets. Thank you guys for sponsoring that. Um, and we're going to a couple other sponsors and we're going to have a good time. So, uh, check out the website, pilotfun101.com. Also, my Facebook is the event page for the flying. Check that out. I, I comment on their discussion side of it. Everybody's on the same page. And a diagram will be coming out shortly where the park will have people helping you guys park and have a good day for the family. And the rain date is the 13th, that Sunday. We're hoping not to use that day because everything is planned for Saturday. Um, so it should be a great time. Hope to see you guys there. Look what I'm doing, folks. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that as well. And Facebook. I don't know how Facebook keeps taking off. Um, but just this morning, over 31,000 people uh, follow me on Facebook. Uh, thank you so much for that. Run the fuel pumps. 422 a gallon went up like uh, not that much, but aviation fuel is going up. Hey right, guys, until next time, fly safe, be safe, and I'll see you.